feel like that with age. Like I don't feel like I'm in my 30s, right? I just, it's hard to even like imagine, you know, I still feel like really young. Yeah. There's no limitation there. Well, they say that we regenerate biologically every 11 months. We grow a new skeleton system and our cells are regenerating. And I think uh, other parts of our body regenerate every seven days. Uh, yeah. I just know that because I'm editing a manuscript right now. <laughs> so, I'm like, wow, maybe next week my eyesight will be better than it was this week. I don't know. Maybe I need to keep more carrots and set that intention. I know Dr. Hawkins worked on He worked on something like that. Was it his eyesight? I think it was his eyesight. Which one? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. He did, he did some yeah, he, he did like amazing uh, self healing work with. Mm -hmm. 20 different isolated cases so eyesight uh, uh, ulcers yeah you know all some things were uh, you know he was on the brink of death and yeah. he just completely surrendered when everything else had failed and that's when the miracle happened so uh, that's pretty much like the whole essence of this trip is that you know everything's been spontaneous uh, the same with healing it's not like that we make healing happen. It's, it's one of the things that a lot of times we take for granted because it happens on its own. And we can facilitate and uh, set the intention for accelerated healing. Uh, but usually it takes a massive, uh, maybe a rock bottom moment or yeah. something to really get somebody to like wake up or they're forced to look at you know, what's really important about life uh, when everything has failed, you know, where are you going to turn to? And that's usually like within or within the source and, and Master of Miracles happen. So I actually use this more as like a, a test, you know, because I've personally experienced this when I was living in Guam. Yet people, I tell them the story, they're like, oh sure, whatever tone, right? But I'm actually documenting this right now because I wanted to show that when you actually leap in faith or take that first step in faith, that you're given permission to the universe to carry you the rest of the way. And so essentially that's what's been happening on this trip and we've just been meeting wonderful people like Tina. And <laughs> we've been talking for a while but actually meeting face to face and you know, a similar people as well. So yeah. it's been well, fun. I, I fun. thank you for taking the leap and taking the flight You're to welcome. Pittsburgh and uh, you're an example for many other people to follow so just keep doing what you're doing like I said you're a young sage too you know <laughs> and so yeah I can't take that yes. uh... well sometimes you have to own it you know you have to say <laughs> you have to say I like Thank being you. an example Thank you. I'll be an example I'll give credit to the source for sure yeah. but Thank but you for when you acknowledgement. Meet, right, and when you meet God halfway in that way, because a lot of people don't do that. They say, well, I'm not worthy, or, you know, I talk about that in my book too, that before uh, communion I was taught how many years of my life I went to Mass at 8 o'clock every morning for years and years, and I was praying before communion, God, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I will be healed. Uh, well, we're worthy. And yes, we all have healing to Worthy. do. Worthy. <laughs> we all have healing to do on some level, and we, we need God's grace to, to help that happen to its fullest extent. But you know, we, I don't feel we were put here to to be on the periphery. You know, we're, we're put here to be in the full essence yeah. of life. Fully involved and engaged. Fully involved. So, you're worthy. You're, you're worthy. <laughs> we're worthy. We're yeah. all worthy. We're all worthy. <laughs> Yeah, would you say for the, the final thing here, um, would you take back any of the rocky experiences of your life? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Heck no. Heck no. That's the good stuff because those are the choice points. Those are the decision points where you determine who you are and, you know, by how you are through the different experiences. That's how you formulate yourself and learn about 
how you want to be the next time. The important thing is to learn. That's so important. I know it's almost cliche to say that, but it's so true because don't you watch people who keep repeating their same mistakes and you feel okay, sorry. Too. You yeah. feel sorry for them because that's what life is about. It's about you make a mistake and really there's no mistakes. If you're learning from that and growing from it, then it's certainly not a mistake. It's a gift. It's a miracle. I just wanted to point out, uh, speaking about uh, repeating the same patterns over and over again, but um, part of the miracles is uh, the signs again. We came up here and out of the blue, I mean, animals have been like popping up everywhere on this trip. But uh, Groundhog Day, I just saw a little <laughs> groundhog. I thought it was like the fattest squirrel I've ever seen in my life because I've never seen a groundhog ever. And I was like, what is that cute little creature? It's so chubby and uh, reminded me of that movie Groundhog Day. Check it out. It's a great lesson. It is a very good, very good message, actually. <laughs> now that you didn't think of that until you said it, but it's, it's a wonderful message. Yeah. Yeah, there's no coincidence. I mean, there is, but there's no accidents. I mean, yeah. we just talked about it, so. Yeah, you'll have to look up the symbology of groundhogs Definitely. to see what it means. <laughs> They are pretty darn cute. If you haven't checked that seagull that flew by my head, that was <laughs> You got some video of the groundhog, right? Oh, well, Gina, like thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. It's been a wonderful pleasure. And uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy this. I look forward to sharing the next segment, the Holy Shit Glow at the Flow Show. And uh, check out Gina's website. It's ginamaza.com. That's G I N A. Excellent book. I highly recommend it. And uh, whenever you get a chance, stop by the wonderful city of Pittsburgh. Tina's going to give me a tour today. And uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Go Steelers. Bye. <laughs>